Hello, uh, in this video I'm just going to show you quickly how you uh, store data onto Serio's uh, memory. It has two gigabytes of, of memory uh, located on it on the 9014 controller and we can actually store data on that controller um, just by writing it out. Um, what you see here is the DMA. This is the same DMA that we used for the filtering lab and um, basically you know for the filtering lab we just converted the DMA um, to, to the values um, and uh, took the FFT and looked at them. Uh, if we want to send the data out from the DMA what we can actually do is um, send the data uh, down here uh, to this for loop which basically uh, unbundles the data and puts it into this block here and what this block is, this is a format into string block and here is the uh, selected string format. You can actually look at the different types of format. This basically just gives us a, a tab delimited decimal number and we can pass that value outside of the loop into this write spreadsheet VI and we choose a file name. Uh, we have to use this C as the root directory. Um, actually didn't have to do that in the last uh, lab, uh, LabVIEW 8.5, but uh, for now you do. Regardless, uh, so that's how you do it. It's basically all there is to it. You just, uh, if you have a DMA and it comes out as a, a 1D array, you can unbundle the array uh, by using just a for loop with the same number of elements as, as the DMA. And you can format it by using this uh, format into string. And the reason we want to do that is so we can write it as a text file. Uh, then when we have it as uh, as text, we can then use this uh, write to text file uh, function and choose its file name here. So once we've done that and we run the VI, the data is actually stored now on the um, Serio. So the question becomes is how do we get that data? Well one way to get that data is to just use your web browser and uh, here I opened up my, my web, web browser and you can just type in the FTP of your Serio. Now this is uh, my FTP so I just uh, go to the, I mean sorry this is my my IP address for my Serio. You just type in FTP colon forward slash forward slash and then the IP address of your Serio. Yours might be something like 10 10 10 2 or, or something. Uh, and then we look here and in the root directory, uh, which is the C directory of our C Rio, uh, we see that uh, text file. So we can right click and hit uh, save link as to save it onto our uh, host computer. Or we can just uh, look at the data here. And so this is um, what our data looks like. And you can see uh, we have zeros and, and tens, which is uh, basically clipped values from the analog input. It's actually 12 volts, but it's pretty much uh, a PWM signal. So then when you have that, um, you can actually then, um, you know, import it, import these values into Excel, and you can look at the plot of those values. You can see, you know, it's pulse width modulated, or you can read it back into... Uh, into um, lab view. So uh, here is just a brief tutorial on how you save data onto um, Serio's hard drive um, or flash memory if you will and uh, read it out. 